You're the one making me record this, so yeah, I gotta look at it. That is true. <laughs> what is up, guys? Uh, today, we're uh, interrupting some of the Carnage videos. Uh, I think the last video you saw was Lou. Still have some of Jesse's stuff coming up. Still got some stuff to address on this, but today we got a really cool video. We'll get right into it. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you yelling now? Why don't you get into it? All right, so we're gonna get right into this. You're out riding with all your chums, your family, uh, your friends, having a great time. You spend the day on the trails and you come back and you're like, damn it, that was fun. But my ass hurts, right? Happens to all of us. Sometimes it's the riding you do. Sometimes you don't make the right choices. Sometimes it's just the seat. Most of these machines, the seats are not great. Uh, me personally, I do like this seat better than the regular Razor seat that is in Steph's. Or do you agree with that? Do you like these better than those? I don't know, because, I mean, mine has more cushion, because yours are pretty thin. It's preferences. Yeah. I, I like this better, but it still has its issues. One, you work your way through this padding real quick, and your ass is doing that all day. Is it? Yeah. Second Kay. thing, just from me doing that, my hand is a little moist. Um... After a couple wash, washes, wash, Worsh. washers, uh, <laughs> these things hold water like crazy. This last winter, when we were uh, taking this to far off road to have the doors and the fender delete done, it was cold out, and both of these seats were rock hard. They were just a chunk of ice because they hold so much moisture and they turn into bricks. So all those issues end today with me. This seat is no longer gonna re-wet my ass on the trail. This seat is no longer gonna bruise my ass on the trail. We're done with it. Bye, Felicia. Bye. Bye, Felicia. PRP reached out to us to work with us. We're gonna do a video for them. Uh, and it's because of you guys. They found us through you guys mentioning us in Facebook groups, suggesting this channel for people that are in the side-by-sides to watch. So thank you. This one is because of you guys 100%. So with that being said, uh, we as a group appreciate you guys for doing stuff like that. And um, my ass especially appreciates you guys for mentioning us and PRP seeing it and reaching out to us and uh, inviting us to do a video for them. Uh, so let's take a look at these seats. So we got the big box. Now, I tried, I really tried to not open this box until we shot this video. Um, I failed miserably. So open a little bit and then after I opened it a little bit, I was like, oh cool, they're wrapped in plastic. And guys, I tried to not pull one seat out and unwrap it and set it on that little stool over there and plot my ass on it. And I failed at that too, so I apologize. You suck. I do. This one's already unwrapped. They don't ship them like this. This was me, I did this. Ooh, we. So, I went with the PRP XCR seat. Yes! That's awesome! Biggest reason I chose this seat uh, is this area here. There are other selections, the GT3s and the GTSEs. You run the harness through the seat for the lap belt, and I really didn't want that because... We're in and out of the machines all the time to film, and this will make life easier. Uh, plus, pulling the seat out to clean. I do that regularly, so uh, this seemed like the obvious solution for me. 
the thing about PRP seats that apparently uh, a lot of people don't know is that they have seats made in the USA in stock ready to ship to you guys uh, like this seat here. So I found out there are people out there that hear PRP seats and they're like, oh, those are awesome seats, but they're custom. So lead time, I believe, is five weeks and people don't want to wait. They're, uh, they're like me, their ass hurts, they want their seats now. Uh, you can do that. Uh, PRP has seats just like this in stock. Uh, I think the other selection color-wise has some gray panels here. They also have the GT3s and the uh, GTSEs ready to ship. So if you want PRP seats in your machine and you don't want it to be custom or don't care about that, you just want the seat, you can have it in days. That's how this got here. Uh, they sell kits on there like this one that I'll show you. This set is ready to bolt up in this 2020 Pro XP. Uh, these will bolt up in the front seats for any of the Pro XP, Pro R, Turbo R. Some of the differences between your factory seat that's hurting your ass and this seat, uh, I think it's the main thing that's gonna help with the comfort is this is a suspension seat. So you got your little rump roast kind of suspended, you know, like that. So your suspension on your machine's working, and then... That's your ass? This is your little rump roast. Okay. Suspended. And you can actually pop this guy up, and you can see. You got all your oh. little rubber bands, so you're sitting on this. Yeah. That's nice. Whereas the factory one, you got your little tushy pad and it's just sitting on a hard piece of plastic. We don't have five point harnesses, but it's got this little dingly hole here for the fifth point. Uh, you can run your- Dingly hole? Yeah, you can okay. run your uh, top guys through here. And then like I said, we don't have to run the lap portion through the seat. It just goes over. That's pretty nice. The other ones are more of like a bucket. So it will cradle you better, but we're in and out of these machines nonstop. Another box I couldn't resist but open. Yeah, I thought all this was supposed to be fresh. Yeah. So this is the kit for mounting in your specific machine. So we got these, there, that. Um, oh, it rips nice. <clears throat> I believe they have a few options on how to mount these. One being more of a permanent way, where I think you just have rails that mount to the bottom of the seat, and you kind of mount them to your factory mounting stuff. I don't really know how it works, but I know you set it in there and you bolt it in. But then you got to unbolt it to remove the seat. I definitely don't want that. So this is their quick release. Now, it's not going to be as quick as your factory one. I won't know for sure until we get these in there. But my understanding is she'll slide in like normal, pop down like normal. But you no longer have the little handle in the front to flip it out. Uh, now, for the driver's side, you got to kind of pull the seat forward and stick your hand behind the seat and release it that way. I mean, it's not that big of a deal to me, so uh, at least you can still remove the seat pretty easily. Yeah. And the passenger seat is uh, something like that. I think you mount the seat forward a little bit so you have room to reach your hand back there. I uh, skimmed over the instructions, didn't read them yet, mm. as usual. It 
They provide all the little hardwares for you. Uh, taking a look at stuff, doing the basic math here. I see slots, and I know you got holes on the bottom here. So uh, I'm thinking that goes to that. But uh, we'll read the instructions, and uh, we're going to get these bad boys installed. Mm. This feels very up close and personal. Mom, um, that's what it's going to have to be so you can see your face. Is it rolling? Yeah. Oh. Uh, welcome back. Um, so before we get these installed, I just went over the instructions. Super simple on the quick release setup if you go that route. Uh, you can get all the instructions right on their website. Uh, this is very straightforward, but before we install it, I just wanted to show you kind of guys. You know I don't speak Spanish. In English, please. I just want to show you guys kind of how this works. It'll be easier to see when it's not hooked up to the seat as far as how, what you'll be doing for the quick release. Uh, this is your new kind of point, and then this is going to latch. So, just like your factory seat, it just is going to slide down oh, and pop in like that. And now, instead of doing your little handle and going whoop, you'll, uh, well, my seat's a little sticky. Uh, but you're going to reach your hand behind the seat and just kind of pop these guys and you can pull the seat out. I'm sure it's going to be easier when you have leverage on the seat, but uh, that's how this works. Only tools you need for this is a 7 16 socket, get your favorite ratchet, and that's all you need. Is that your favorite ratchet? It is. One of them. I have a lot of favorite ratchets. Hardware is stainless. So we'll just stack four of these up. You got your bolt, lock washer, washer. Don't lose them. We got our slots and we got our holes for the driver's seat. They recommend mounting about halfway up the slots down in this area something like that and the passenger side is different so you can have room to reach behind and unlatch I didn't even start using my favorite ratchet and I decided I don't want to use a ratchet well that's about halfway that one may not have started straight when I said, I don't want to use my favorite ratchet, and I want to use this. Yeah, well, I proceeded to cross-thread this one in. <laughs> I was able to fix the mount hole quickly with a tap. Now that we're under the hood, you can kind of see more of the suspension to this thing. You got a layer here, and a layer here. Under the hood, huh? Under the hood. So, we're ready to install the driver's seat. Just like that. Definitely sits taller. Oh yeah. A lot taller. <laughs> Another thing that I'm gonna have to do Gonna have to clearance some things. Well, we have some issues over here. So all this stuff on my machine, as you can see the seats up against it right now. This is the factory like door mount and mine, did, mine is uh, heavily bent as you can see. So gonna have to get this out of the way of the seat. We're gonna forget about that right now and we're gonna get the passenger side installed. Uh, I'll show you how that bracket goes on. It's a little different. So who knows who'll be sitting in this seat. Steph may spend some time in this seat as my prince, my passenger princess. Uh, princess Pat may spend a little time in here. See this, Pat? This comfort is for you. On the passenger one, we're gonna have it shifted all the way forward, which by my calculations would be like this. Will you wipe your nose? You're f***ing dripping. If you're new to the channel, 
uh, in the warmer months, it does get pretty hot in this garage. Uh, we just don't really have airflow. And when we try to remedy 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 that with fans, uh, it makes for terrible audio for videos. So uh, we just kind of swelter. You sure you should be doing that? <laughs> Where's your favorite ratchet? Next step, remove the old crap. Do you need to have a moment with this one though, too? Uh, you yeah. stupid seat. I mean, this one, I don't think directly hurt my ass as much as the other one, but it still hurt my ass. At some point, I'm going to get different harnesses. Uh, I know these look terrible, uh, and I'm still undecided if I'm going to run it through the seats. Uh, if I do, I want to get those little kind of hook deals where they clip on so you can still remove it. But for now, we're just going to get the seats in, see how they feel. And you can see this job here is sticking out a little further than the other one, and that's what we were doing by shifting it. This, when latched in here, should give us enough room to do the old reach around and uh, unclip it so we can remove the seat. I think to start, because uh, this whole system's new, I think taking the bottom pad out makes it a little easier. It's not hard, it's just kind of, when you have the factory seats, you kind of know where to put it to slide it in. This one's all new and in different spots, so it helps out. There we go. Just like that. Just like that. Oh. Put the little touchy pad. Yeah. And then, let's see. Yeah. You can reach around the back, push down, and pull it up. So, it's not that big of a deal not having the little handle in the front. With this setup, I can see running two Large Americans might be difficult with the seat shifted so far forward. Um, but most of the time I'm solo. You want to take her for a test ride? Sure. All right, one of my princesses oh. is going to get in. It's definitely tall. Yeah, I'm fully tall, but it's nice. Yeah, comfy. Yeah, a lot better. Does your rump feel suspended? Yeah. Nice. There's plenty of clearance. That's what I'm talking about. The other side is uh, took a bigger hit. If you're new here, uh, that happened when this happened and this whole door frame broke in half. And uh, that's how we ended up doing the fender delete and the doors. Like oh yeah, I think they're gonna, they gotta run through. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm gonna at least have to get those little quick release yeah. jobs. Most of you guys watching probably know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So I will run them through. All right, they are all installed. Very simple. Uh, we did clearance this a little bit. I still got some work to do, so it's still touching, but I did get in. You definitely sit tall. Keep that in mind if you uh, go the PRP seat route. Uh, these do sit taller. I don't know if there's lowering options for it, but it is taller. And if you have a super low cage, you may have issues there. Cause uh, it's what, probably a couple inches taller it seems like. Yeah, at least, yeah. yeah. Before we end this, I did want to show you something. I talked about the factory ones holding moisture. So actually just come here. Like I'm not just saying that. This sits in the garage, it's dry. When I threw the seat, when it was sitting on its side, that leaked out. And then if you come over to this one, just sitting here after I threw it, you can see water draining out of it and puddling up. There's no rain, everything else is dry, but these things hold a lot of moisture. So that is one cool thing about these, if you run yourself through some shit and you get everything wet, these do drain. Underneath here, you can see this is a mesh. So all the water drains out the bottom. So that's it for this project, guys. Uh, again, thank you to PRP for sending this 
kit out and uh, if you want something like this for your machine I will have links in the description below for these they have different seats they have different mounting options and you can get a setup like this to your house within days and you can have them mounted in your machine in 30 minutes if you go the quick release route the first impressions without driving the machine they are comfortable uh i am a little large for them actual seat itself the quality seems really high uh it's just a good old-fashioned american made product USA! 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 again thank you guys because this opportunity is because of you so thank you as far as what's next you're gonna see some of jesse's carnage uh we got some issues to fix on this that were from before the trip that we just didn't have time to deal with we will be at the badlands two weeks in a row we're gonna be there for the badlands bash which is like june 7th 8th something like that we're gonna be there the week before for an upchurch concert uh we're gonna be going to west virginia and we got the Miley Harvey cancer benefit in October. Uh, Crash of Palooza in August. Hollywood in Hollywood August. Hollywood in August. August. So we're going to be busy. Uh, we got to hope we can keep these things together. We will be traveling with a lot of zip ties. That's for sure. That's it for this. Again, thank you to PRP. Thank you to you guys for creating this situation for us. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll see you out on the trail with this, with me finally having a quality seat. Uh, this is the first aftermarket seat in our group. Everyone has been running stock, and, uh, honestly, most of us bitch about it, so this will be nice. If you want to see these videos uncensored, ad-free, and a little bit early, and you want to have your name scrolling on the screen to show, uh, your support for us, I'll uh, check out our Patreon. That's uh, going to be linked below as well. Uh, if you need parts for your side by side, check out our G Life UTV affiliate link. You can use code Haggard5, save yourself a little coin on those parts. And thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Sorry, I pushed it into your face. Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> All right, get mad. Okay. So Eat this seat. <laughs> <laughs>